Hi everyone, welcome to What's in the Shares. It's the last week of October and we are out here on this cool morning in the path with bok choy, red bok choy and, uh, and mustard greens and mint. It smells amazing, but uh, we're here to show you what's in the shares. So over to the smalls, there are sweet potatoes and spinach, cauliflower, Here's some of that red bok choy that you see growing right behind us. It's a wonderful leafy green. We're going to talk some more about this in a few minutes. And some red onion, dill, carrots, and apples. So we've got Fuji, and then we've also got um, gala apples here in the share. Uh, I just wanted to say as we get in the fall, we have some items that store a little bit longer than your summer items. So of course sweet potatoes, they could last you several weeks, especially if you have them in your cabinet or pantry. Uh, carrots of course in the fridge, they last longer. If you reuse one of your plastic bags here, you might even be able to hold those out till Thanksgiving. I'm not sure, that's only I guess three and a half weeks ago. Um, and then apples too last a good long time if you keep them in the refrigerator. So going on to this beautiful large share, living up to its name of large, we've got um, a double dose of apples just about. There's broccoli, a larger bag of spinach, carrots, uh, eggplants, so a few of those left, or you could receive kale. Uh, this is a daikon radish, and this is a turnip, and over here is a parsnip, some really nice root vegetables. These also uh, keep a pretty good long time for you. Uh, these in the fridge, and these in the pantry. Uh, cilantro and dill, those red onions, cauliflower. And then over to the fruit shares, there are some golden delicious apples, some boss pears, stamen apples. These are good, both of these are good or for baking with. And then persimmons. Uh, maybe you got a fruit share last week and you got a couple persimmons, but this week there are four persimmons. Uh, if you're new to these, they are really nice fruit. Uh, they have a unique texture. It's not mm, crispy like uh, like an apple. It's softer, and you can just let these soften up at room temperature for a few days uh, and just enjoy them. Just slice them up and enjoy them. Uh, we are sharing some information on these on Facebook and Twitter, so you can learn all about them. And then on to bok choy, the purple bok choy. So this is a, a really nice variety that we're growing right now. It's got long, slender stalks. It doesn't have much of a, a bottom. Oftentimes varieties have like a big round sort of green bottom to these. But this one, I mean, you can eat the whole thing. It's great. Um, so basically what you want to do to wash it really well is just cut off the very bottom here, get each of your leaves, put it in um, uh, a, a big bowl with some water. Just let that soak for a couple minutes and give it a good rinse under, uh, under, your, under your water in your sink. And then uh, you can stir fry it. Uh, you could put it in a soup. I'm actually going to share a wonderful recipe today. It's for a vegetarian pho, Vietnamese pho, to soup, and uh, it uses bok choy. So please come check that out on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, if you have anything that you like to do with bok choy, any way you like to prepare it, we would love to hear it. So please comment below. And uh, other than that, thanks for joining us, and please enjoy your shares. Bye.